So therefore, we're under the heading, you know, how do you study? How do you rehearse? Well, you've got to, you've got to do maths, right? So that leads me to this question. Let me walk you through first. This is, um, I know what's special about mathematics, okay? My first tip for you is how do you do exercises? Because the point is you must, right? Well, here's a pretty typical exercise I pulled out of a textbook, okay? Here's my first tip for you, okay? Your, your teacher says, okay, do this many questions, right? And you're like, okay, uh, I'll give it a go, but you know, I've got, I've got things to do at home. I've got things to move on with. I've got other assignments that I've got to work on, you know? So you're like, I probably might take like an hour to finish this, right? Like this, this looks like hard kind of stuff, right? And I've only really got 15 minutes, okay? So you think, no problem, I'll get as far as I can in 15 minutes. You're like, oh, three minutes, four minutes, three minutes, five minutes, but well, okay, you get to here and you stop. And you have to, because let's face it, like how many, seriously, how many subjects do you do? In the rest Ten. of them? Um, 10, nine? Yeah, that's a lot to keep in your brain, right? Can you imagine talking to a sportsman, right? And um, they're like, yeah, how's your, um, How's your, how's your forearm going in tennis, right? And he's like, oh, I've been a bit busy trying to work on my basketball. And you're like, what kind of sportsman are you, right? So what you guys are doing, learning all these different things simultaneously, is quite astonishing, but it leads to promises, problems like this, okay? So here's my first tip for you. Don't, don't do that, don't do that. If you only got 15 minutes, fine, okay? But don't do these questions, or don't do just these questions. Can anyone tell me? Why might that be a bad idea, just doing the first five questions on there? Yeah, other than that. Because they're like the same thing that they were Right. In fact, you can even sort of see, like the way it's laid out, just take a step back. I mean, you don't have to do this. Imagine you were writing this thing, right? As a textbook writer, you're trying to give people exercises, meat to practice on, right? So you give them a whole bunch of questions that are very similar, right? You can see these are quite similar, and these are quite similar. That's why they're grouped up in these kinds of sections, right? So, can anyone suggest to me what well, might be a better alternative than just doing these five, being that if you want to get good at it, you do have to practice, yeah. You do like one for each question. Yeah, so here's, there you go, maybe you want to jot that down. Instead of just focusing at the top, which by the way, not just on one style of question, but almost invariably will be the easiest kinds of questions, because we kind of try and warm you up as you're getting into an exercise. Here's the way I would say it. Distribute the amount of, the, the number of questions that you do. Okay, do some from here, some from here, some from here, some from here. Do some from the beginning, some from the end, right? If you're like, I can only do two questions in each section. Don't just do A and B, because they'll be the easiest ones, right? Maybe do B and F, and that'll really give you a workout. 